Hi, I'm teacher Aparna. I will give you some extra knowledge related to the topics. Time and tide wait for no man. The essence of this golden maxim is that time and tide follow the laws of nature, irrespective of what you do or do not do. You can put off doing what has to be done, but you can never change what happens in the meantime. The only time you have is now. It will never come again. The world and other people go on with their lives, no matter what you do. In all walks of life, time is extremely valuable. One man who seizes proper opportunity becomes a great man. Another person with similar qualifications who misses opportunity remains ever in dark. Time does not wait for anyone. If a student wastes his whole time idle and when examination draws near, he is in big trouble. So thereby we understand that we should always respect time and never ever waste the opportunities. Discuss with your friends the importance of being on time and cite examples and situations from your own lives. New words, going astray, wandering. The herdsman should be vigilant enough not to let his cattle going astray. Grizzled, grey or streaked with grey. I saw a grizzled bear at the zoo. Barrel, a wooden container. The barrel is filled with water. Gaze, a fixed look. She gazed longingly at the ocean, trembling, shivering. The children trembled with fear during the thunderstorm. Rip Van Winkle Rip Van Winkle is a highly imaginative story adapted from The Legend of Rip Van Winkle by Washington Irwin. It tells the story of Rip Van Winkle, a good-natured but lazy man who goes away into the hills and falls into a deep sleep accidentally. Rip Van Winkle Many years ago, at the foothills of the Catskill Mountains, was a little village. In the village lived a simple, good-natured fellow named Rip Van Winkle. He was a kind neighbor, ready to help anyone. Everyone in the village liked him. The children of the village shouted with joy whenever they saw him because he played with them. He taught them to fly kites and shoot marbles and told them long stories. The only problem with Rip was that he was very lazy. He did no work on his own farm and just idled away his time. His fences were falling to pieces his cow was going astray. Weeds grew on his farm. Rip's constant companion was his dog, named Wolf. To avoid work, he would walk away into the forest with his dog. One day, Rip just walked on and on and reached the highest part of the mountains. It was late in the afternoon when he reached there. Tired after his long climb, he lay down and began daydreaming. It was soon evening and he realized it would be night by the time he reached his village. Suddenly he heard a voice calling out, Rip Van Winkle, Rip Van Winkle. He looked around and saw a short old man with thick hair and a grizzled beard walking towards him with a barrel. He made signs to help him carry the barrel. Rip hurried to help the stranger who caught his hand tightly. Together they reached a place where there were some more odd-looking men playing nine pins. They were all dressed the same way and all of them had beards of various shapes and colors. Even though they were playing a game, their faces were serious and there was silence. The only sound was the noise of the balls which echoed in the mountains like thunder. As Rip and his companion reached them, they stopped playing and stared at Rip with a fixed gaze. 
Rip was really frightened. His companion emptied the contents of the barrel into glasses and made Rip drink it. He obeyed as he was trembling with fear. Since he was thirsty, he drank a few more glasses and slowly fell into a deep sleep. On waking up, he found that he was at the place where he had first met the old man. He rubbed his eyes. It was a bright sunny morning. Surely I have not slept here all night, thought Rip. Summary Rip Van Winkle was a good-natured man, but he was lazy too. To avoid work, he would walk away into the forest with his dog. On one such situation, he happened to meet some strange old men on the mountains. They gave him some drink and as a result, he fell into a deep sleep. When he woke up in the morning and reached his village, he found that quite a few things had changed. Finally, he came to know that he had been asleep for twenty long years. The whole story is very interesting. The author has wonderfully created a world of fantasy and 